Hey everybody, Ann here, just sitting here having my, oh, my coffee. It's all the way over there and I can't reach it. Yep, I still got peppers coming on, so that makes me very happy. But you know what makes me really, really super happy? Is the UPS guy came and delivered two packages. I was only expecting one, delivered two. So I'm gonna open it, well, I have to be honest, I've already opened them. Um, so you don't get to see me do the ch -ch thing, but anyhow, you know what time it is? It's present time! This first one, it is, I'm going to show you, it was heavy because it came with one of these thingies. I love these. Uh, I'll freeze it, maybe ask somebody if I could put it in their freezer. And on the inside chocolate bars hershey's chocolate bars oh my gosh i love chocolate so so very much and i love to sometimes put it in hot coffee and let it melt down and give it that coffee flavor and i looked and look it's got this packing stuff in it i kind of like it look at that it looks like rock wool it could be just shredded cardboard but i can use this to insulate something there's no note in it um I don't know. The next package, I know who it came from because she told me it was coming and there's a note in it and it's from Mary. Uh, Mary gives thanks. Um, she, she sent me a huge box. So I don't know if you sent me this too. Grandma Net, Grandma Net, you said that you had sent me some stuff, but then you canceled it because you thought it was coming to the wrong place. Is this from you? Chocolate? If it is, thank you so much. If it's not, thank you, whoever sent it. I love me some chocolate. The next one is from Mary. It's a big box. I can't show it all to you, but. First of all, it is impeccably packed and it's got lots of this brown paper. I love this brown paper. I use it to start fires with and I also use it to um, wrap mushrooms in. Look at all this stuff. Oh my gosh. A whole bunch of these. I don't know how you knew I buy these. Sweet and spicy, love it. Deli style tuna salad, love it. Another one, uh, another sweet and spicy. Oh, hot buffalo, one of my favorites. Wild caught, lot, light tuna, I can't duck. In water, um, in sunflower oil. Good morning, Romeo. And another one in sunflower oil. Oh my gosh. In fact, I put these in like a little basket that's in my kitchen and I just keep them there all the time and I'm totally out of them. So thank you. Maple and brown sugar. Oh no. This is my favorite, favorite flavor. Look at this. Annie's shells uh, and white cheddar. There are, uh, let's see. There's four packs in here, four packs. And it is so ironic because last night or yesterday, I used my last thing of mac and cheese. And so I needed some more of this. I love to put like meat in it and different stuff in it. Love it. Garden rotini, pasta. I love to have pasta around. I throw it in all different kinds of dishes. Two things. I was totally out of these mashed potatoes. I just like to make mashed potatoes sometimes all by themselves, put a little bit of ghee or butter on them. Um, I also use it to thicken potato soup, so this is great. Pink salmon. Yesterday I fed a can of this to my chickens and they loved it. Um, I don't feed them a whole lot of it. I like to eat it myself more. Every once in a while I'll, I'll make some for them. But two cans of pink salmon and I love this stuff. Oh, look at this. Silverado beef chili with beans. Oh, I love it. I can make tacos with this too. Mmm. I use this stuff all the time. Pork. Beef. Another pork. And another beef. I put this stuff in stews. I put it in soups. I put it in a pot of beans. I do so much with this and it's wonderful. Thank you, Mary. She also sent a beautiful, beautiful note. She starts by saying, my hope is always that our Heavenly Father will continue to keep you safe and to strengthen you in both body and soul. 
and she shares <laughs> she shares some really really beautiful uh, Bible verses. Ah, sovereign Lord, you have made the heavens and the earth by your great power and outstretched arm. Nothing is too hard for you. Jeremiah 32 verse 17. Look to the Lord and his strength. Seek his face always. First Corinthians uh, 16 verse 11. Um, for the spirit of God gave us does not make us timid, but gives us power, love, and self-discipline. Uh, second uh, Timothy uh, 1 verse 7. And pray that we may be delivered from wicked and evil people, for not everyone has faith. Yes. Uh, second, Th uh, let me say this right. Second Thessalonians 3 verse 2. Uh, I have told you these things so that in me you may have peace. In this world you will have trouble, but take heart, I have overcome the world. Uh, John 16 verse 33. And this is just, just beautiful, Mary. Thank you so, so very much. This stuff, all of this stuff you sent me is stuff that I use regularly. So I get to stock my pantry today. I'm excited. And Grandma Annette, if you sent me those candy bars, thank you. If it wasn't you, thank you, whoever sent it. <sighs> I'm feeling pretty good. Anyhow, um, well, I got to get going today. I, I got to finish my coffee first. I can't do anything without my coffee. See this right here? Yeah, I had all these up against the chicken yard fence. But I think what I'm going to have to do, I am going to have to build another coop and another yard because I think I've got more roosters than I initially thought. So I've just kind of like fleshed this out a little bit. I think I may be able to get one more pallet to go underneath this because this kind of juts out a little bit and it's not exactly right. But it'll make a nice coop for a few roosters. I can put roosting bars across here. I've set this one up higher because I want the roof to come down this way so the rain won't gather on the top. Um, for the flooring, I'm not really exactly sure. I could use that piece. I'd have to cut this down and put it down because I need there to be a floor. Um, and I'll have to cut a door out of here. I don't know if Seth across the street, Mr. Lucas' son, would maybe cut me a door out of it um with his he's got a, one of those sawzalls whatever sawzalls whatever um and then i can take some of these boards off the inside and put them in other places just to kind of make the sides more solid i do need some more chicken wire though that's for sure but at least i can kind of get started i'd have to put it up off the ground on cinder blocks i don't have any blocks i do have bricks so I may be able to put some bricks together to um, lift it up a little bit. But uh, I think I've got something to put over the top. So this is going to be one of my next projects. Because I got me some roosters, I'm pretty sure. And I think one of them is right there. Uh, not the one laying down, the one right next to it. Yeah. See, I think in, in another one right there, um, the Easter Eggers combs look a little bit different, but their combs are definitely bigger. They're, they're redder than the other chickens. And look at the tails. Look at those tails. And it looks like they're starting to get some saddle feathers. Those two right there, not the one on the ground. So I think those are roosters. I'm not 100% sure, but you guys tell me, yeah, I, I definitely think that one over there is a rooster because it looks like he's starting to get his tail feather, uh, not tail feathers, saddle feathers in. So I think I've got two roosters and I can't have more. I think I could probably have two roosters in this whole run um, if I put more hens in there, maybe a couple more hens, but yeah, I definitely think I've got some more roosters. And I think at least one of the new baby leghorns is a rooster. And there may be one or two other roosters in there. So I've got to have a place to put them. Um, I will definitely keep them for meat. But, uh, you know, I just can't keep a bunch of roosters together. I'm going to keep them 
you know, let them grow up a little bit and just see how things go. But once <laughs> blood starts getting shed, I've got to make some moves. So I've got a little bit of time before I need to get all the materials I need. But, uh, yeah, I definitely got to build another coop. Anyhow, uh, the whole Prezi thing took so long. So I think I'm going to close this out here. So that's all I got for you guys today. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.